Ashburton dentist Justin Wall says putting fluoride back in the town's water is the obvious way to rein in a rampant tooth decay problem. With fluoride out of the water, it's getting worse and worse. Four years ago, local campaigners convinced the council to stop fluoridating the water. Wall says the result was predictable. They brush their teeth three times a day, they know all about diet, they do this, they do everything that we ask them to, but there has been a worsening of the oral health, which is attributed directly to the fluoride. Tooth decay in Ashburton's six-year-olds has increased 25% since fluoride was taken out of the town supply. In nearby Methven, which retained fluoride, tooth decay levels have remained constant. Don Church campaigned for its removal. He believes it can be dangerous. If we have a recommended level of fluoridation for an adult, that can't be a one-size-fits-all for everybody because children on that level are getting overdosed. The fluoride debate's not just confined to mid-Canterbury. In recent months, Greymouth voted to keep their water fluoride-free. Ashburton's still deciding. Hamilton chose to keep it in their water, while in the far north, it's just about to be put back in. The Ashburton District Council will survey its residents next month to try and gauge whether there's enough support to follow through with a fluoridation programme. Beverly Lockhart, 3 News.